Soldiers wounded in a war and then heading right back to the front line. Some doctors who have recovered from COVID-19 are going right back to work. And they're returning with valuable information. CBS 2's Rachel Kim spoke to one of them today. I felt like helpless and I felt like a patient and you know I a totally different feeling when you're not coming to the room to treat someone when you need the help from others. Dr. Shahinaz Solomon has been a Torrance family physician for 22 years but in early March she became a coronavirus patient. She believes she may have been infected by one of her patients during a physical exam. He didn't know he was infected at the time but he did tell her he had attended a birthday party in the South Bay where several guests later tested positive. Soon he tested positive and so did Dr. Solomon. I started having high fever, severe headaches, severe body aches, coughing. <coughs> when her coughing got worse and the fever wouldn't go away, Dr. Solomon was admitted to Torrance Memorial Hospital. She allowed nurses to record this video to help other medical staff distinguish and identify the deep, intense, chronic COVID-19 cough. <coughs> You're in complete isolation. You hear the room beside you, they got intubated, or the room beside you coded, and someone in isolation passed away by himself. So it was quite like, you know, there was a lot of fear. Fortunately, Dr. Solomon didn't have to be put on a ventilator. She responded to her treatment, which included azithromycin, zinc supplements, and hydroxychloroquine, an anti-malarial drug some doctors have prescribed for COVID-19 patients. Dr. Solomon says hydroxychloroquine can cause side effects like liver toxicity. She said her enzyme levels went down once she stopped taking it. I'm very thankful to God that it worked. I do recommend now because we don't have other options and we don't have enough studies. After nine days in the hospital, then nine days at home to recover, Dr. Solomon is back on the front lines armed with firsthand knowledge of COVID-19. Patients has been calling and it's my responsibility to help them as well. So I just felt it's my duty and I feel like I'm ready to go and I can help. Dr. Solomon also says she's concerned about the long-term effects of COVID-19 in our systems. She hopes research will be conducted to identify and track any potential chronic problems. Rachel Kim, C